All right, and new tonight at 6 with inflation increasing food costs more than 5% year to year. It is going to have quite a real world impact on many families this week as they head to the grocery stores. And we wanted to see how that might be impacting the cost of Thanksgiving dinner this year. Well, two on your sides, Kelly Dudzik did some price checking for us. The New York Farm Bureau is just out with its annual Thanksgiving dinner price survey, and this year it's saying dinner will cost you $52.59, an increase of 1.7% over last year. Stuffing and sweet potatoes saw a fairly big dip from last year, so that kind of skewed the overall results. But I think it does mirror what people are, are seeing when they go to the grocery store, that prices are up. The list includes turkey, stuffing, sweet potatoes, rolls with butter, peas, cranberries, a veggie tray, pumpkin pie with whipped cream and milk to serve a family of 10 with leftovers. We have volunteer shoppers across the state. Uh, we had 21 that went into their local grocery store and we gave them a list. For a 16 pound frozen turkey, the New York Farm Bureau found an average price of $23.28 this year. That's up 72 cents from 2020. So nationally, we saw uh, turkey production down about 4% than this time last year. So already the supply was a little bit less, and we're seeing people who are going out all out and, and having uh, Thanksgiving dinners. So let's go shopping and compare prices. At Wegmans, you can get a Shady Brook Farms frozen turkey for $1.69 a pound. So a 16-pound turkey would cost you $27.04. Dashes has frozen turkeys that you can have delivered for $1.79 a pound, so $28.64 for a 16-pound turkey. Top says frozen turkeys on sale this week for $0.48 cents a pound if you spend $30 and use your savings card, which would cost you $7.68 for a 16-pound turkey. Aldi has frozen butterball turkeys on sale for $0.87 cents a pound. $13.92 would be your final cost for a 16-pound bird. For stuffing to go with your turkey, the survey says a 14-ounce package of herb-seasoned cube stuffing cost $2.29 this year, down 55 cents from last year. At Wegmans, you can get a 12-ounce package of Pepperidge Farm herb-seasoned cube stuffing for $2.69. Dashes has the same bag for $2.79 delivered. Tops has Pepperidge Farm stuffing for $2.69. And the Farm Bureau says a pound of sweet potatoes will set you back 319 this year, down 53 cents from 2020. At Wegmans, organic sweet potatoes are just $1.33 a pound. Dashes has sweet potatoes for 219 a pound delivered. At Tops, you can get sweet potatoes for $1.60 a pound, and you'll pay 49 cents a pound at Aldi. And the survey says a 30-ounce can of Libby's pumpkin pie mix is $3.69 this year. That's 31 cents more than last year. It'll cost you the same, $3.69 at Wegmans. At Dash's, the same can is $4.39 when you have it delivered to your home. I was able to find a can of the pure pumpkin for $3.99 at top, so you'd have to add your own spice. I'll do some comparison shopping. There are are great tools online where you can go to your grocery stores and get an idea of prices before you even set foot in the physical location. Have a list and stick to it. And he says encourage guests to help out by bringing dishes. Of course, these prices at our local stores are subject to change and while supplies last. And you might be able to find coupons or better deals yourself. You can check out the entire Farm Bureau survey on WGRZ.com and the free Two on Your Side app. Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.